We got Dylan and Caleb. Out here. Bro, those aren't even in four wheel drive. Let me put, them in. put that thing in sport. Welcome back, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. This is part two to our excursion yesterday. Uh, I'll roll the clips. We There we go. This one might eat it. Oh, come. Come on. He's all over it. Oh. That was sick. <laughs> oh, guys. Fucking. Finally caught one. I had like three race out. I don't know if y'all could see that, but I had three race out from all the way over there. This one followed it all the way up. Not the healthiest looking fish of all time, but that was cool. Chased the new bull shad glide all the way up to me and I just glided it, glided it. Right there, that little dude ate it. Badass. There's a bigger one over here, but I didn't really talk before the camera. This spot is wild. Look at that water with Dylan. Yeah, buddy. He's throwing a soft bait. He's going to see if he can get one. Big one that's sitting down kind of more on the bottom. Not a bad idea. Definitely not the intended size, but we'll take it. And every single spot I've thrown a cast in today, felt like I was going to get a bite. Finally got a little two pounder, one pounder. Like, there he goes. You can probably see him. Way on over there. And that is some clear, clear water. Fish on? On what? Yeah. Yeah, I'll record for you. Large? Oh, yeah, big, large, big, big, large. Holy shit. I'll, I'll land them for you. I'll barely hook. Just keep fighting them. Dude, that is a stud. Yeah, I'll get some shots. <laughs> here, let some line up. Bring him here. I'll grab his. You got him, dude. Yeah, yeah, you got that second hook in him. He's not going to walk out. He's reeling his slow. Let some, let some line out. Just get, put your rod tip up. Get his head to me. You good? Oh, that's, that wiper's about to eat it out of his mouth. That's a stud. Hand me that TK's, huh? Yeah, I'm getting all of this. That's badass. Oh, well, Dylan's tight. That's, a, that's yeah. like a six pounder, bro. Yeah, for sure. Pull her head up. Let's. Him... I'm not gonna try and get her too early. Yeah, keep the line away from the rock. <sighs> Come here. Oh, pull, pull her head up. Pull her head up. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Thanks for the land job, Hell yeah. <laughs> Holy <laughs> A seven. Yeah, that's a good Hell show. yeah. We caught a few. We were actually going after some striper. Oh, look at this dude. I don't know. You can barely see him. He's probably just a little speck. But a little, a little tiny dog. But yesterday, we went out for the sole purpose of catching striper. The conditions were perfect when we decided to go out for them, that being rainy overcast just kind of nasty weather is what i've heard the big giant striped bass like and uh, of course the second we get out to the spot it's just sunny clear and obviously they wanted nothing to do with that this is the next day and uh, we have the similar conditions to when we started yesterday uh that being just kind of overcast rainy cloudy what's up dude you want to say hi what's up boy really just out in the hill country. Dylan and Caleb, who I just introduced a second ago, they actually know a person that allows you to fish here. Obviously, I'm not gonna say where that is, but we are out in the middle of nowhere and we are going after some giant striper. There's also giant largemouth. And do we have hybrid bass out here? There's a whole bunch of hybrids, white bass, everything. Everything yeah, lives yeah, out here. Giant cool. catfish. Huge catfish. Oh, yeah. Huge catfish. So this might be, hopefully, fingers crossed, a multi species day, but who knows? Uh, I always go into places with zero expectations, but really just the fish is a bonus. Uh, it's gonna be quite the expedition. We also got Reagan over here somewhere. She's an absolute hammer. Reagan, what are you gonna throw? 
a bait. Because <laughs> she's going to throw a bait and probably catch a bigger fish than any of us. But I'm going to put you on the chest mount. We're going to hike down the mountain and get to our first destination. That being maybe some moving water, a dam. Who really knows? But we're going to hopefully catch them up today. I'll see you guys down there. Let's go whack them. This is wild. Mountain lions. Really? Like there's these huge caves and there's like this stuff everywhere. Coming down a literal mountain on a rail old railroad there's just a boat right there looks like it's been there for years and years and years restricted area uh, that's what we like to see that means not many people come here usually the fish are more likely to eat oh it's kind of hard carrying four rods no it's okay keep hiking Striper? Yeah. Jeez, look at these clips. Good one. What's up, Megan? Guys hooked up on the 12-inch worm again. Oh, yeah, it's a toad. Let's see if I can keep him on. Oh, God, he's running. There's, oh, no. He's in all kinds of rocks. All right, guys. Hook up. This is a pretty good one. Way over there. Come here, dude. Oh, stay on there. Man, just dragging it. He just barely grabbed it. I literally cast it all the way to the other bank. Oh, they're strong, dude. <laughs> Holy cow. This thing is messing me up. Let's see if we can land him. Over here, right? I think I got him pretty good. Yeah. There's another stud. Stuck him on that 12 inch worm. Woo. Man, that was fun. Well, there's a big one. Here you go, bud. For next time. Thanks for the net. <laughs> no net needed. There we go, fellas. All right, we're gonna get a pick, let them go. But essentially what we got here is like a shallow channel that leads into what they say is a 300 foot hole. Like this place is wild. It's literally staircases that go down into 300 feet over in that other corner. There's the slightest bit of current that moves out from that creek and that dam and they just stack up along here. And that was one mean, strong, large mouth. God dang, that's a good one. All right, fellas, five and three quarter, just a beautiful, mean largemouth. Eight to 12 inch worm. I'm gonna get her back to the 300 foot hole. There she goes. See you, girl. Thank you. Boom. All I'm doing is literally just dragging this giant. June bug worm as slow as I can. I got a 7.3 heavy Leviathan and a eight to one Bates reel, 20 pound fluorocarbon. And that thing just jammed her. Oh man, that was fun. I'm gonna rip it, throw it back over there and see if I can't get one. Same size, if not bigger. Y'all are sleeping, bro. Bro, you sick. Throw a goddamn worm or a jig or a fucking jerk bait or chatter bait. Eh, might have been a gizzard shack. 
Oh, well, guys, hooked up again. This ain't the size as the other two, but take them. Oh. Yeah, but he's kind of bleeding, so come quick. Okay. Hey, you know uh, another one. Here. Little guy shows you these things don't just catch big ones. Catch little guys, too. See ya, bud. Thank you. Let's try this. Thanks, off. Oh. No way. Oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> my, my grip came off, but... Here, you want to fight it, Reagan? Come here. Come here. Quick, quick, quick. Here. This this one, I'm going to let Reagan fight this one. It's, it's pretty nice. All right, real. Real. Got him. Not too hard. <laughs> Wait, where's, so where is he at? He's over here. Put your rod up. Put your rod up. Real, real. I think it's a good one. Okay, I'm gonna land up here. Pull him up here. Don't pull one too hard. Get him up over those rocks. Keep your rod up high and don't lose. Come this way. Come this way. Why is it so slippery? Okay, be careful. Don't get him in the rocks. There you go. Oh, he's already over here. Yeah. I think it's hard. There's another good one. <laughs> it's a good one. I caught him. Yeah, I know you did. How hard did that thing fight, huh? Pretty Is that hard. fun? Yeah. Let me see if I can end. That's a big hook. Hey. Look at that. That's a beauty. Me and the fish. The fish. <laughs> Oh, I'll assist you. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching once again. I had an absolute blast making this one for y'all. Anytime I can throw a humongous worm down here in Texas, you know it's a good day. This time of year, when the fish are done making love up shallow, they move out deep and they're looking for a big, big meal. And the two best ways to target them in my opinion, are with a big giant swim bait, that being a glide bait, a soft bait, something that comes across the bottom. And uh, as far as conventional tactics go, a big meal would entail a giant crawfish, a giant worm, giant shad, something of the sort. So a jig and a big 12 inch worm is always a great way to target those giant post-spawn fish that are done doing their thing and have moved out deep. I got a lot of super cool stuff coming up in the very, very near future. I've been traveling a ton, trying to fulfill my addiction for tarpon right here. But unfortunately, I have come up short minus the one 20 pounder I got in the Keys the other week. Kind of bouncing back and forth between Florida and Texas, literally with one goal, that being to catch a tarpon over 100 pounds ever since I was a kid. That was a dream of mine. Honestly, I'm gonna keep going hard trying to get a tarpon video for you guys. But in the meantime, lots of crazy bass fishing stuff here in Texas. And I really appreciate all the support on all my previous videos. Get on a schedule where I post probably every Monday and every Wednesday, like you guys have seen today and uh, just really get things rolling and take YouTube as serious as possible. Also, if you guys are in the Austin area and wanna get out with me personally, I just purchased a new boat. which will be showcased in a new video. I'm running guide trips all summer long, and that is my favorite time to throw giant swim baits for giant bass. So you guys can get out with me and I will teach you everything I know about bass fishing here in Texas and throwing those monster swim baits. And a bonus will be getting on a monster bass with me. So reach out to me on email, Instagram. You can even comment in the YouTube section and uh, let's get out and go crush a big one. Once again, thank you so, so much. I will see you guys soon.